James True here. On uh, August, what was it? Uh, Twenty, yeah, August twentieth, twenty nineteen. I published this uh, video on YouTube, and uh, well, here I'll, I'll just I will. I'm gonna play maybe a minute. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we'll see if this is allowed. So I've been asked what exactly my take is on the whole Q thing. And I'd be happy to share. I've, I've been trying to share, uh, but every time I post it to uh, the Q researcher that have channels, they call me bad names. And sadly, there's a lot to digest to, to get to, to what's actually happening. And so <clears throat> I may not be able to fit it all in this video. Here it goes though. I, I need you to go back a little bit um, this is an article I wrote on April 6th, and uh, it's called Behold a Pale Horse's Ass. And it's basically um, explaining what Alex Jones is. We're under the impression that assets are these secret uh, spies that have, been that have been recruited, and they have one set of priorities, but then they, like internally, and then outside they, they lie, and they, they say things they don't actually mean. Um, that's not actually how it works. It, your most valuable assets going to be someone that's doing what you want them to do without them actually even knowing it. Okay. So, uh, in this clip, uh, I want to point out that I, I am debunking the idea of Q, which is a, a funny word for me to even talk about, but but all the work that I've done is showing you how Q is is basically just how the how the military uh, communicates to the people using propaganda warfare. It's it's not like even shocking, right? This is a Kino mind war. It's it's all it's not a secret, okay? It, it's just crowd control, and uh, I I I don't I have don't even see it as necessarily uh, shocking. Until I keep noticing how many times that whenever I publish these things that the the network algorithm is making sure that my content's removed, but none of the content that's like, ooh, Q is secretly helping that that stuff stays. That that stuff stays. It's me who's trying to rationally expose how it would be a necessity for uh, a two-party system to create something like you. That's the things that are being uh, censored. This is the second video in, in a week that's been cut that's specific to this topic. Uh, I can't show it to you here anymore. It was removed from this platform. It's not a big deal. I, I'm not complaining. Uh, I know that uh, censorship is a uh, necessary part of, honestly, uh, how upset the populace is at new ideas. And so... Um, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm only recording this to let you know that if you want to see this video, if you're curious about how this works, uh, I've got it on, uh, on a private server and you can access that link, uh, in the description below because I can't show you here. Uh, I'm kind of miffed because this is like seven, eight months of research, uh, that I've put into this. Uh, there's at least 10 articles that are mentioned in the, in the video that you can reference if you want to, to see this stuff. When I wrote this, I thought more that there was a possibility of, uh, mass psychological change of the culture through a political movement. And I, I just, I think that, uh, I think that was a silly time for me to, to, to believe in that in that sort of thing. But, but I also feel it's a hermetic ladder. So it's like, I have a weird take on Q where, uh, hermetically speaking, I think it's good. Uh, but it's also frustrating to watch naval warfare intelligence practice, uh, pointing their weapons directly at the people. It's kind of, but also when you watch how stupid the people are as their behavior is, you're sort of like, Oh, catch 22. Uh, you know, so it's, it's so much more complicated. It really is. Uh, those of you who have accused me of being in the CIA, uh, it, it, imagine how much more complex it is that 
I'm being censored by the AI for trying to expose how Q is in fact a just a, a political structure of how we're built. And I'm being accused of being the CIA for doing that at, all at the same time simultaneously. So it gives you this concept of what propaganda warfare would need to be, how it would have to be shaped, and uh, um, how really there's only one way to to even create such a monster as, as Kono Takarius, or as you call it, Washington, and give it this kind of life, you know, it's, it's only going to be happening through lies. The same, same thing, you know, we see in the energy sector, all that stuff. So, you know, you, you get it. Uh, happy election season. Uh, yeah, and enjoy. And if you want to see that video, uh, check the link below.